He's stood. He's talked. There's been some great reporting on this by uh, Tommy Birch of the Des Moines Register. And there's a uh, project that is going on to help raise money for the Greenwood family. As you know, a lot of expenses. It was an expensive, and, expensive uh, round. Wow. It's called 100% for the Greenwoods. It's Tuesday from 6 to 9 p.m. at the front row in Windsor Heights. It's an original Houtland print by local artist Sean Thompson, and it's going to be up for bid. It's a $10 steak dinner. There will be auction items. Uh, Tyler Sash has sent several items, and Rob Houtland himself, the guy who kicked the number one over number two field goal when the Hawkeyes beat the Wolverines at Kinnick Stadium in 1985, Houtland will be there. And this is the print. We have it live on sound off. This is not a picture, folks. This is a this is a uh, print done with charcoal, 70 plus hours by the artist Sean Thompson. It says, Faith here. Rob Houtland has autographed it. He will be here. And uh, holding this is Sean Thompson. I promised him I would not make him talk. But he is uh, standing here holding his print. There's his face. We saw uh, uh, this before on the radio show last week, and since then it has been framed. And this is really a very, nice. a very detailed, really cool kind of multi-layered frame and matting to this. So uh, really kind of adds to the value. What a, what a cool piece this is. From where we're sitting, you can tell it's charcoal, but it's, it's so... Uh, meticulous yes. and so well done by Sean. Uh, it almost that looks it, like a photograph. It does right? almost it does look like a photograph. Just amazing. By intent. So Rob Howland autographed it. He will be at the front row along with Sean Tuesday from six to nine. Ten dollar steak dinner. A lot of auction items. Raise some money. Hundred percent of the profits for the Greenwoods. Again, you see the reminder there. Thank you, Sean. We really appreciate that. What a what a great thing you're doing uh, for the Greenwood family. Now let's say hello to B. Ross, who is in the cave.